Welcome back, sports fans. It's time for the Thursday edition of Full Court Press. Jonathan Perez and I have your highlight scores and more. Right. Mr. Collinsworth, let go. First stop, the defending 5A state champs in the Warner Robins uh, Demons hosting visiting Stars Mill early on. The Demons, Keyshawn Hauser with the assist of Trayvon Williams. And the Demons out on top. The Demons stifling defense right here creates the turnover. There goes Scuda with the steal, coast to coast. Oh, yes. And one, eight points from the senior guard. Now it's time to hit the Quan. Hit the Quan. Quan Dillard had a team high 17 points in the win. First quarter winding down. I gave it away a little bit. Well, wide open three for Trayvon Williams. Oh! But he out for the alley oop dunk instead wow. to Keyshawn Hauser. It's all big red demons. We're tied at the half, but they made a run late and move on to the next round with a 52 39 victory. All right, let's head to the Palace now where Wilkinson County looking to get back to the Elite Eight, taking on Clinch County early on in the first quarter. Christian Lamar drops the floater. Now they're down by one. Then shortly after, Wilco forces a turnover. Christian Lamar drives, hits a tough layup off the glass. Now they're up by three. One minute left in the first. This time, Jacob Crockett gets the feed from the top of the key. And he's going to rattle home the triple. Now they're up 19 to 13. Let's go to the second quarter. Check out this no-look pass from Raquan Smith Woo! to Demarcus Mims. He's going to put up the shot. Warriors starting to pull away. And now five and a half left in the second quarter. Look at the ball movement. Crockett gets the feed inside. Look out below. Oh, nice. Rattles the, j the rim with that jam. Wilco wins 15 straight. 74 to 51 is the final. All right, down back in Houston County. The Hoco Locos in the house with the Bears hosting Heritage Conyers. Trailing by three in the fourth quarter. Not anymore. H.B. Morgan, a sophomore from downtown with a big time triple to tie the ball game. Back and forth late. T.J. Morgan with the bounce pass to Xavier Duncan. They call him Zay. That's good for another bucket. The senior had 12 points and two boards in the matchup. Bears leading by four with 3.30 left after Austin Sloan feeds Kobe oh, Nelson. Nice. Kobe. The senior had seven rebounds and four boards, but the Patriots close out on a tear and they get the big win over Hoko. 59-51 It's not to be for the black and silver. Great year for Coach Don Hudson and the Bulls. All right, let's head to Southwest where the Northeast Raiders taking on Hepzibah in the second quarter. Oh, Darius Dunn drives, geez, geez. gets fouled, banks on nice. the shot and one. And the fans are on their feet. Yeah, he's strong. They lead 23 to 17. Still in the second, it's done again. Drives, hits the five tough shot. Northeast and look at this, the Raiders laying down the full court pressure. Tyree Gilbert right in front oh. of him. Comes up with the steal. He's there for the easy two. And the lead is up to nine. Third quarter now, Gilbert. He's gonna kick it out to Kendall Green right here. And look at this, tough layup. Oh. Unbelievable concentration. Now they're up 30 to 19. So now we go to the fourth. Cameron Cherry, oh. finishing with the cherry on top. How about that, Jan? The Raiders keep moving on. Up next is the Elite Eight with the win. Sending them back to Augusta. Let's run down tonight's scores. Warner Robins advances while Houston County's superb season ends. Upson Lee's phenomenal run is over. Wow, as they fall tonight to America Sumter. No three-peat for the Knights. Carver Columbus knocks out Howard while Westside falls to Windsor Forest on the road. Northeast, as you just saw, still alive. The Raiders beat Hepzibah and Laney edges Washington County and Wilco cruises past Clinch County at the Palace. All right, Hancock Central still rolling with an easy win over Montgomery County. Speaking of rolling, Trulin puts 88 on the board to beat Dooley. Wilcox County outduels Macon County on the girls' court. The Rutland girls survive to play oh, Coach another Dixon. day. That's right, they're moving on. They beat Pierce County on the road, while Beach knocks out the Central Lady Chargers. And in the GISA State Semifinals, Windsor falls to Terrell Academy down in Americas. Good job from the whack attack. Now That's you can right. get a chance to see this again if you go to 13WMAZ.com under the sports tab. We have all these highlight scores and more. You don't want to miss it. Get a chance to watch it all over again. Reverse, That's it reverse. for sports. <laughs> Stay with us. 